The lights are back on. I have to go inside. Quick! That was close. Nobody will be looking for me here. I must return to the camp before dawn. The roots of the trees have made their way this deep. In time, they will start to break the support beams and the mine will collapse for good. The color on the lettering is almost completely off. It isn't legible anymore. The lamps have been distributed by soldiers intending to explore the mine. They must be powered by the same generator as the lights in the camp. There is a rod stuck in the barrel. Perhaps it served as a primitive faucet. I can't pull it out by hand. It's firmly stuck in the barrel. It's rusty, but still quite firm. They most probably used to be full of diesel fuel or oil, but now they're empty. The corridor ends at this point in a heap of collapsed earth. I won't get anywhere through here. I'll try to break the boards out. I don't know where it leads, but maybe I could try to squeeze through. If only it weren't so dark. The body of a dead soldier. He must have died in that cave-in. The man was killed by this huge boulder. It's quite preserved even after all the years of being buried in the mud. It's made of silver, I'd say. Certain parts of the uniform have not decayed. The cloth is quite dry, strange. There's something in the pocket, a small set of keys. Which locks would these keys fit? A massive steel part of a mechanism. Whatever it was, it's broken to bits now. It's not holding firmly in the beam. It appears to be loose. Both ends are quite sharp. I have no idea what's inside, and I'm not interested either. This is likely where supplies were lowered to the underground. The lid is closed, though. The hook firmly joins the two chains. 
I can't pull it out. The crate is too heavy for me to lift. It looks like something is missing here. Just a heap of earth. Just a heap of earth. It was buried under dirt. A steel hook with an opening for a string. This part of the mine has been flooded. It's murky and cold. The wood is all soaked and decaying. It barely holds together. A lot of garbage is floating on the surface. Rotten boards, various scraps of containers, and other garbage. The label on that can over there is legible. It reads, oil. It appears to be undamaged. Maybe it's still full of oil. It's too far. I can't reach it. I've tied the hook to the rope. The can barely holds together, but there's still some oil in it. This must lead to the main part of the complex. Nothing. Something is missing here, I guess. This one won't turn. It's stuck. There's not a drop left in the oiler. I filled up the hand oiler with oil. completely dark in here. I can't see anything. Damn. The bulb must have burned out. 
Judging by the shape, it's probably some kind of lamp. I can't see much, but it does seem to have a little kerosene in it. Hopefully it's going to last a while. This huge generator must have been powering the whole underground complex. With a bit of luck, it could still work. The massive engine of the generator appears to be in good condition, even after all those years. For what could they possibly have needed so much energy? This lever should start the generator. Still nothing. This is probably the main fuel inflow control. It's stuck. I can't turn it at all. It's stuck. I can't turn it at all. Gang, the central corridor. Right wing, archive. Left wing, stack room. It controls lights in the corridors. The lights are on and that's how it's going to stay. Empty, just webs and dust. The lids are closed. I'll leave those alone. It's locked. The meters show levels of oil and pressure in the pipes. The main fuel tank of the generator. There are pipes leading into the wall. Maybe it also powers other machines. An old battery, probably from a truck. It's empty. The lids are nailed shut, just like the ones in front of the stack room.
stacked dynamite sticks. It could come in handy. One stick will be enough for now. It doesn't appear to be soaked. The gum powder should burn. Lots of old light bulbs that could still work. Hopefully it will still work. They're full of some dark colored solution. The labels are no longer legible. Perhaps they contain ammunition, maybe hand grenades. Those are full of kerosene while all the others contain diesel fuel. Just a little carelessness and the whole underground would turn into hell. I don't need another light bulb. Judging by the smell, it's full of kerosene. This is where the rats crawl out, the hole in the wall. It's locked. The key has broken in the lock. What now? I've poured the acid from the battery into the test tube. It's strong. A complete war archive. All these documents are of tremendous value. When I tell this to the professor, maybe I'll find here what he's been looking for. I'll have a closer look. I have no idea what exactly I should be looking for. D282. Hmm. What could he need the number for? D282. The number on the paper matches the one on this drawer. How could Stashik come across this number, though? Surely no one has made it down here yet. There was a small metal case hidden between the folders. There are some magnets of various shapes in the box. Soaked documents. 
They'd fall apart as soon as I touched them. There must be thousands of records in those drawers. There isn't much point in searching those without a clear idea of what I'm looking for. It reads, danger of injury in close proximity to the platform. Emergency ladder. It leads high up into the darkness. This is probably where the supplies lowered from above were stored. It doesn't work. I'd say they control the hoist I've seen upstairs. The light bulb is missing. Records of all the transmissions. I don't have the time to go through them. Some letters and empty envelopes. Nothing I would need. A radio complete with a long distance transmitter. A code table for encrypted messages. Today it's useless. An empty box with a lid. An old ruler. I can't see anything special about it. Completely rotten, just like the Third Reich. It's closed. I can't see a lock anywhere. It appears to be empty. A groove this deep must have been made by something heavy. I'll try to push it off. Judging by the groove in the floor, there must have been a way to open it. Not a trace of an opening or a lock. Strange. I must find out what is behind this wall. narrow crevice in the masonry. I stuck it in the crevice. The fuse is too short. It shouldn't be a problem to pull out the fuse. A piece of dynamite fuse. One stick will be enough for now.
Okay, let's go hide fast. The crevice grew bigger, but the charge wasn't sufficient. Better not stick my fingers in there. That still isn't quite it. I have opened the canned beans. It doesn't smell too nice. I've put in the trap some beans from the can. This could lure them out. Come on, get out! A small, aggressive rodent. It might be useful. A magnifying glass for close-up reading. This is going to be quick. It won't feel anything. I'll try something. It worked. The mechanism inside has opened the secret door. I have a strange sensation that I'm being watched silently from the shadows. I feel that I'm close to the end. 